Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Wow, look at this awesome reading robot. It can read any sentence that we type on the screen. Check it out. I have a bar of chocolate. It is so delicious. Do you want some? Hmm, can certainly read what's on the screen, but it kind of reads it, well, robotically. And that makes it a little bit hard to understand what the robot is saying. But there is one way to change that. Punctuation marks. Punctuation marks are the symbols we put at the end of a sentence. Uh, periods, question marks, and exclamation points. These symbols can tell us what type of sentence we are reading and how to change our voice to match the feelings. The most common type of sentence we use is a telling sentence or a declarative sentence. A telling sentence just tells us things. And it can also be called a statement. Here are some telling sentences about this eagle. The eagle is brown and white. It has a beak. It can't fly. Now these sentences tell us information about the eagle, like what color it is, what it has, and what it can do. We use telling sentences all the time to give other people information. And what do you notice at the end of each of these telling sentences? That's right, a period. Telling sentences always end with a period. The next type of sentence is an asking sentence or an interrogative sentence. And these are also called questions. We use asking sentences to get information. When we use an asking sentence, it means we want someone to answer us. And so here are some asking sentences. What is your favorite color? When is your birthday? Do you like ice cream? And what do you notice at the end of these sentences? That's right, a question mark. Asking sentences always end in a question mark. Now let's pause for a quick check. Which one of these is a telling sentence? Where do camels live? Camels live in the desert. Remember that a telling sentence tells us information about something. The first sentence doesn't tell us any information. It asks us for information. So it's an asking sentence. Now the second sentence tells us where camels live. So that is the telling sentence. And we can also check the punctuation just to be sure. Telling sentences end with a period, while asking sentences end with a question mark. All right. Now, sometimes when we feel very happy, angry, or scared, our voices get louder. This is so much fun. That's not nice. Oh, there's a spider on my book. Ah! These are called loud sentences or exclamatory sentences. When we want to write down loud sentences, we need to use an exclamation point. An exclamation point shows the reader that the sentence should be said loudly and with a strong feeling. Now, the last type of sentence is a commanding sentence or imperative sentence. A commanding sentence tells us what to do or what not to do. It's the same thing as a command or an order. Sit down. Stop running. Brush your teeth. What do you notice at the end of these commanding sentences? Well, some of them end with a period and some with an exclamation point. We can use an exclamation point when we want to show that the commanding sentence is said loudly. So if you're calling your dog in the park, you might say, come here in a loud voice. We would write that with an exclamation point. If you're talking to your friend who's in the same room as you, you could just say, come here in a normal voice. And we could write that with a period. Now let's get back to our reading robot. Can you help it add punctuation marks to these sentences? This will help the robot know what kind of voice to use when reading out loud. Now the first sentence is, I have a bar of chocolate. Is this a telling or asking sentence? Well, since it's just telling us information, it's a telling sentence. And we need to add a period. Now the next sentence is, it is so delicious. And the robot wants to say that with a loud voice to show that it is very happy. So should we add a question mark or an exclamation point to the end of the sentence? That's right, an exclamation point. And the last sentence is, do you want some? Now is that a commanding or an asking sentence? Well, because the robot is asking for information, it's an asking sentence. So we need to put a question mark at the end of the sentence. 
And now the robot knows how to change its voice while reading. Let's listen to how it sounds. I have a bar of chocolate. It is so delicious. Do you want some? Now that was much easier to understand. Today we learned about the four types of sentences. Telling, asking, loud, and commanding. Telling sentences end with a period. Asking sentences end with a question mark. Loud sentences end with an exclamation point, and commanding sentences end with a period or an exclamation point. Now these punctuation marks help us understand what we are reading and how to read it out loud. Can you find these three mighty punctuation marks in your books at home? Let me know in the next lesson. I am so excited!